right, we're eating today French food. Well, I'm gonna be eating French food for the first time ever. First time I had French food, I was literally maybe seven years old. So we're gonna see what's all about the French food vibes. I'm super excited for this one because it looks delicious. This vibe right here, as you can see, there's obviously beef, there's some onions, some carrots, and some pasta vibes. Okay, I'm gonna dig in this beef bourguignon. The lighting is not the best right now. The sun is too too sunny. I don't know what's going on with, my, with the weather here in Ottawa. But anyways, as you can see this, my sweater, this is Mbappe, the French, he should be the French president. And then we have Hakimi. Some people would think he's French, but he's Moroccan. All right, let me get a spoon. I mean, a fork, or a spoon actually works better for this vibe. Um, and here we go. The French bourguignon. That's the number one French um, dish they have over there in France. Here we go. Instant deliciousness, you know? It hits right away. This is the best thing in the world. I should be... Um, and Paris right now eating this. As soon as I take a bite, I can see the Eiffel Tower right out, right there, like what I'm eating. Mm. Mm. So good. Let me show you this. This is a um, French onion, the smallest onion in the world. This is. Let me show you better. Here, this. This is called a French onion. It's the smallest onion for the first vibe. Oh, there's mushrooms too. Of course, French people love mushrooms. Um, that's my third bite. I literally can't stop eating this. It's so good. This here, right away, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. It has everything. You know, there's nothing you can't like in this beef bourguignon vibe. So good. I'm, I'm not sure if, if I'm saying it right. But I'm pretty sure it's beef bourguignon. Alright? That's the first vibe. I'm going to put it aside because I'm going to be, after I'm finished, Filming this, I eat all my food obviously, so I'm gonna be eating all this as soon as I get inside. But that's the first one, I'm gonna put it on the side. The next vibe, if you're familiar with it, is right here on my dashboard. Look at this, look at that. Moul, it's called moul, it means mussels in French. Um, and those guys, you got them in the ocean. I always confuse the mussels with oysters, you know, I always don't know which one is which, but. Here we go, let me crack this bad boy. Ooh. All right, and that's the... It, it, it dripped everywhere on my radio and my... Um, it's fine, my gear. But that's that's the vibe, let me show you um, here. This the muscle. You know, it, it really looks like an oyster, but like harder? I don't know, but here we go. It's so good. It's just so good. Some people, some crazy people will say it's, it's very, you know, um, moist and like um, not great texture. And it, it reminds them of um, some stuff like boogers and stuff. But it's really good. I, I personally really like it. This is definitely an 8 out of 10. Look at this meal though. You know, it's just appetizing. French people know how they make food. And if you think about it, you probably had French food your whole life. Croissants. Baguette. Omelette, eggs are French, you know, the first, the le coq français, this is like the, the first um, cock, co no, no, I mean like uh, the chicken, the rooster, ro rooster, he was French, the first French rooster, and then it came out the egg, that's the first, uh, everything French has to say eggs, eggs is French, okay, anyways, this is really good, I love that vibe, um, I'm gonna put it on the side right now, I had one muscle, because I have so much food left, and I didn't know French food have that much stuff. I thought this wasn't gonna be fine. I thought this is some American stuff or you know, some like somewhere, some island because you get them deep down in the ocean. I don't know where is their ocean is France. I don't know, but I love this food. All right, next up, the most iconic thing in the world, the French fries, you know? Um, some of you guys watching this might think, French fries French? Isn't it American? Well, if you think about it, French fries, it's in the name, so it can't not be French. You know why I didn't call it American fries? Here we go, that's the little soggy, it's fine. Mm. First time ever trying these French, those came straight from France. It says on it, made in France, or you can see the other side. Never mind, it's from Canada. Well, exactly the same as the French fries, you know, who doesn't like those French fries? Mm. Usually they come with the muscle that's like moule et frit. is what it's called. That's the vibe. French fries are always a 10 out of 10. You know, you can never go wrong with French fries. Those are a little soggy though. 
I'd say an 8.5 out of 10, but so good. Beautiful, right off the box, okay? Um, that's for the french fries. I'm not gonna talk too much about french fries because you guys know what french fries is. Now the next one is what's holding my camera. It's the um, French onion soup. The most biggest banger that you have out there. I don't know how to really do this, but here we go. That's, I'm gonna bring you along my French onion soup journey. We're here for a second, just hold on one second. And look at the vibe. Look at the vibe, it has onion, it has some toast in there, and cheese melted somewhere in it. Okay, um, I need a spoon. It's actually, it, it usually looks way more appetizing than it is right now, but um, in my car it's not as good of a vibe, but look at this. I've always heard about this onion soup. It's such a delight. I can just eat that. Mm. I've never loved onion like that. You know, I've never really was into onions, but this vibe, holy. You know why I can't stop eating or drinking while I'm on camera? It's, it, may, it means it's really good, you know? This is a vibe. Definitely one of my favorites from all the stuff is the French onion soup for sure. I can eat that any time of the day. Like right now it's sunny outside, as you can see, it's like, it looks like I'm in heaven. It's really hot out here. And I'm eating a French onion soup. Usually this is a, a thing you eat when it's snowing after skiing. That's the vibe. But right now, oof, that was beautiful. All right. One last thing to eat, which is the most traditional French thing in the world. I'm gonna show you right now. Bang. This. This is um, the most traditional French dessert. It's called um, creme brulee. Let me bring back the same spoon I've been eating everything with. And try this vibe. I'm um, super excited to have it. It cracks, it's like you're cr breaking glass. Look at this vibe. Here we go. Mmm, mmm. I, I can't. Mmm. This right here. The best dessert that is in the world. I don't think there's a better dessert, you know? What's a better, name me one country that makes better dessert than this. None, you know, you won't find anything. Um, Such a beautiful dessert. I love this creme brulee, such a banger. It's so big too, usually I get, like I see them this big. You know, this one was a whole family size thing. But before I conclude this video, I guess probably seen it lingering over there. It's this French baguette. That is the most traditional and the most iconic French thing they have is the baguette. How can you not like this? Like, look at the inside. It's just so fluffy, so beautiful. Mm. Mm. Right after your creme brulee, that's the vibe you need right away. This, right here. Mm. I put it back, you know. I think when I get hungry when I'm driving, just grab it. Mm. Quick little snack, this baguette, but nothing could be better than the French cuisine. That was insane. That was actually so good. I ate it so fast. I can't wait to go inside and eat it more and enjoy this food because right now I'm doing it in my car. You know, um, a quick one bite from everything. So good. The beef bourguignon, definitely amazing. Creme brulee, nothing better than a creme brulee. With that being said, if you're out there trying to try, try test a new cuisine, you haven't tried French food, please get yourself some French cuisine some french french mussels french fries you probably de definitely had that but the creme brulee and the bourguignon you need to try it and the baguette obviously if you haven't but this is everything for french food if you want me to eat any other cuisine or culture that i haven't done before um on my tiktok i've probably done over like 40 to 50 different countries cuisines but if you want me to do anything please let me know i'm down to try i want to try that's my quest my mission try every single cuisine from all over the world and um See which one is the best, you know? So far, French is winning. <laughs> on, on here, I've done French and Romanian. Obviously, French is way better. Um, I'm very sorry if you're from Romania. You probably should go to France and get some French food. It's probably like a 20-minute drive to France from Romania. I'm not too sure. Everything in Europe is very close. But anyways, that's it. Let me know what to eat next. Peace.